Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to pop in and say thank you to all of my new subscribers. You guys showed me so much love in my last video. It really pumped me up and got me excited to film this video. I know that it is not a nighttime cooking clean with me, but I am giving you guys some extreme cleaning motivation today because our house needs some serious attention. But I just wanted to say thank you for all the love that you showed me and welcome all of my new subscribers thank you for hitting that subscribe if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is fantasia i am a stay-at-home mom of three and i post motivational cleaning videos like this weekly so if you like videos like this give this video a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any more of my future uploads Girl, I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty pumped because I just received some new products on the video that I will be working on. I'm not gonna talk about it yet, but I can't wait to share it with you all. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this before somebody else says something in the comments. I am dressed up today. I know it's just a cleaning video, but girl, like these past few weeks have been so hard. Like I've been so focused on my kids. I never do anything for myself. So today I was just like, you know what? I'm going to get dressed up. I want to feel beautiful. And I did just that. I put earrings on, a necklace, curled my hair, went and put my favorite t-shirt on and put some shorts that I got from Target on. And y'all, I felt so beautiful. I have not felt like this in such a long time. I won't lie, I wish I felt like this every single day. Y'all, I'm gonna be 100% honest. It has been a long time since I have gotten dressed up or even felt beautiful to the point that I would like get inside of my own head and feel like I'm not beautiful. But on this particular day, like I just did it. Like I got up, got dressed, and even though I am doing a cleaning video, I felt beautiful. Like watching this video back it felt so good to see myself dressed up, looking cute, walking around, cleaning up the house. Girl, I know you did not come here to get a full speech on how you should feel beautiful and just take care of yourself, but I'm telling y'all, it feels so good to just get dressed up and do something for yourself. Don't always think about your kids. Well, think about your kids, but also think about yourself. Like, just do something for you. I won't lie, I was kind of feeling myself. I did not want to mess my curls up. So I was just thinking that I was going to do a speed clean of our house. But after carefully looking at everything, I knew that I could not do that. Like I just had to get this house together. Not only that, but we were going out of town and I did not want to come back to a messy house. My favorite way to clean our sink is with baking soda. I will also put a couple drops of essential oil down the drain just to give it that fresh smell. I really like this because I feel like our drain stinks all the time. So I'll just put a couple drops of essential oil down the drain and it just clears that right up. Okay, y'all, of course we all know that I have three kids. I know that I have three kids. I mean, I'm home with them every single day. But as I was cleaning this high chair, I was seriously like, what? 
my son is sitting in the high chair eating at the dinner table with us. Like, I am like mind blown. Like I have three children sitting at the table eating dinner now. Like, I don't know how I should feel about this. Like, I don't know if I'm ready for him to grow up just yet. These white cabinets and I, we seriously have a love-hate relationship. Some days they look good, I don't have to wipe them down, and other days they just look so disgusting. Okay, y'all, first off, I thought these marbles were gone. I did not think that they were in the couch. Like, Jaden and I looked everywhere for these marbles. So the fact that they were in the couch, all I could do was look at Jaden and just laugh. So before anyone says anything, I do plan on getting new couches. Right now, it's just not the time. So I'm just taking these couches as they are trying to keep up with them the best way I know how. And in the future, we will get new couches. Even though I was feeling myself, y'all, I cannot lie. It is so hard for me to just do a speed clean. Like I just have to move stuff out of the way. Like I don't know how else to clean. Like how do you clean stuff, but never move anything out of the way? I don't know, maybe it's just me. For one, this is a real life mess. Like this is our real life. Not only that, but each and every time I clean, I have to move furniture out of the way because I guess that's just me. That's how I was taught, move things out of the way, clean under it, clean the floors, do it all. you guys know i am a mom i do breastfeed so i do have to take breaks from time to time and just gather my thoughts and get the kids together get them fed and do everything else now i'm going to be moving to our bedroom before i even go to the kids room because as you guys can see it is a mess and i just wanted to get it under control because this is like my sanctuary this is where i come when i'm done cleaning to, to just sit back and relax Y'all, we live in Oklahoma. It has been so hot lately. I don't even think about putting the comforter on our bed. Like I just put the sheet on and go about my business. bedroom today my main goal was just to wipe everything down because I just felt really really stuffy so I wanted to go through with disinfectant wipes what 
does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me Okay, y'all so i'm gonna keep it real about this bathroom i hardly ever use this bathroom so i just wanted to wipe it down real quick and then i noticed that the toilet was stopped up i don't do stopped up toilets so i left that for my husband to take care of and i just went about my business finished wiping everything down and moved right to the closet and if i say it enough it gets ingrained in my head and i start to I know somebody is probably looking at this video like I know she does not let her baby sleep in that closet but yes I do like this is the only place that he will sleep through the night and I don't know about y'all but I love my sleep a full night of sleep is just something that you do not get especially whenever you have three kids so when I noticed that my baby was sleeping through the night in the closet yes he stayed there because I would like to sleep Okay, y'all, moving on to London's room, I just have to point out that we changed her crib into a day bed because this girl was seriously climbing in and out of her bed. Now, I am that person that would just rather see her get out of the bed and maybe knock on her door to get out of the room rather than try to climb out of her crib and end up falling. Like, I did not want that. So we changed her crib into a day bed. I love it. It looks so grown up. Okay, so listen, this bathroom is really, really small. I know y'all probably heard that in my past few videos, but I really do need to kind of redecorate and also get a good organizational system going since the bathroom is small. So stay tuned for that video. Today, all I'm going to be doing is literally cleaning everything.
like I do under my tattoos Just a remedy, remedy, remedy said this bathroom does need a lot of work i will be redecorating it soon so stay tuned for that if you enjoyed this video please give this video a big thumbs up it really does help my channel out and also if you are new i would love for you to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any more of my future uploads as always i'll talk to you guys in my next video let's forget about a curfew because all that is stuck in my head it's me and you both speeding my heart is racing but i'm not sure i wanna place it cause it only does this with you our bodies meet i can feel the tension move us into the next dimension let's just let our bodies be